One of, if not maybe, arguably my favorite US comedian is um, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. He's yeah. no longer with us. Um, and it was his stand-up elephant in the room. Yeah. That really did it for me. I was like, wow, front to back. It's one of the is- best comedy specials I've ever seen. And I think that I really, it's such a shame that he did die because I feel like he, at that point, of with elephant in the room what he was doing at that time he was one of the best and i feel like not many people have come in close to topping him mm. and i feel like he had he was gonna get so much better too like yeah. and that's what because i listened to bill burr's podcast and i love bill burr and he was really close personal friends with patrice and it, and it sounded like patrice had had so much more to go and to uh, creatively as a comedian so it's a shame that he did pass away but like yeah i think he's he's amazing and uh Elephant in the room, so cool. Like the story of it, he filmed it three times, and so the first time he did the comedy special, uh, it was good, and he did all of his jokes right. But I, I did my comedy special twice. You film it once, and you're like, I have to nail every bit mm. uh, because you only get one. You you know, you get two shots, and yeah. that's it. Uh, so for me, I did my comedy special. I did once, and the first show was like very. I'm doing my show. I'm gonna get all my jokes out. And make sure I the del- delivery's right, and it was good, but it was a little bit robotic. But then night two, I kind of went on stage, being like, "Oh, I can fuck this up, and it's fine. I've still got, I've yeah. got one in the bag." But I went on looser, and I had, I knew I could mess it up, and it would be fine. And, and we ended up using most of night two. But yeah, Patrice, the story that I that I have heard is he did it three times, and he did it once, it was good. He did it twice, it was amazing. He did it the third time. I think maybe even the third time that night because it's cheaper to keep the cameras in for one day. He went on stage being like, well, I'm not going to lose. The, I'm not going to use this one at all. I've got it. That's the comedy special over here. So I'm just going to go on stage and just have fun and do whatever. And he walks on stage and just points out tits in the front row. And then yeah, they just ended up just <laughs> using the whole third show because oh, he was so that, that was- loose and just didn't care that it was the most natural performance that we're going to get so like well that's the one and that would explain why he's just going so ham on that front row for so long well yeah because he he didn't he didn't care he had the comedy special he'd already done two really good specials so he could use either one of those so he's like well i'm just gonna do whatever so that's a wild card and it paid off yeah so that was that was cool um and then uh another comedian who i'm not sure if he's a stand-up comedian um worldwide famous um i don't know exactly what his actual name is but he plays the character of borat yeah Um, sasha baron cohen yes now he is from the uk or from america the uk yeah now i mean he's kind of like a master of yeah trolling yeah per se and i think he started with the ali g character and in ali g the show, because I, I think like there might be a lot of people that didn't catch on to me onto him until he dropped the Borat movie. Yeah, but Borat but he was, was doing actually stuff before that. Yeah, yeah. And like, that's, I've I've obviously found out about him from Borat, and then I was like, man, this guy's so good. I wish there was more. And then I found out there was like TV series and TV series. I was like, wow. Yeah, and Borat was actually a character in the Ali yeah. G show as a segment before Borat mm. was its own movie. Now. He's then gone on to do, I think, what was it, Bruno, and then he Bruno. did, uh, oh, what was the, I don't know, he's got a, he's got a whole bunch of He did of The them. Dictator? That one, yeah. I think that's yeah. the last one I've seen. Yeah. I was like, wow. And then, what was his latest one? He, he's got a TV series, I think, called This Is America. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and that's, that's like, scary. <laughs> it's so good that it's kind of scary. Like, he just exposes how ridiculous America is. Like he was, he was getting elected U S government senators to yell racist stuff, like really, really racist things, uh, and do ridiculous stuff and, and just really kind of expose some of the people that are running America. And like, it was hilarious. But then you think about it, like, Oh, those people were actually running, running the country. And they're dumb enough that they would let some random dude with an accent and prosthetics <laughs> and a massive head 
get them to yell racist shit in front of a camera. Uh, but I, I love that too. I think that's like his masterpiece, man. I love watching it and just, it's like the body language that it's not just the character. It's like he'll say something horrible and then go in for the handshake and and their natural reaction is to shake his hand. But before they, they shake his hands and then they go, oh shit, I just agreed with what he said. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and so how do you think... I mean, because I've heard he's got like a lot of lawsuits and, yeah. you know, he's been in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I, I heard a rumor, it could be true, that he's like banned from Kazakhstan because yeah. the Borat movie made the country look so bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's your take on him as a comedian? Would you put him in the, because I hear people putting him in the genius category. I mean, would you agree? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think he's in terms of like making TV. And doing all those stunts and stuff there's no i mean who's done it better than that you know like from from borat to a, i think he's top borat with this tv series just in terms of like like because you know borat was pretty much just making fun of dumb idiots that are just no ones but this he's he's done the same thing make made people look just as stupid but these people are like big important he got sarah palin you know big important people and he's he still made them all look like just as stupid as as he was doing in Borat, but the people in Borat were like drunk college people. But he's done it to like fifty year old, well versed, powerful, powerful people. The the, the, the lesson. Oh yeah.